Review, 2023 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 Heap Sound and Fury on an Exotic Design. Braking hard from 142 miles per hour on the front straight at the Pittsburgh International Race Complex, the 2023 Chevy Corvette Z06 8-speed dual-clutch automatic fires through three downshifts, and the new flatplane crank 5.5-liter V8 responds with an exotic sound befitting the C8 Corvette's exotic mid-engine design. Damn! I feel like a C8 Dot or Corvette race driver, which is convenient because longtime Corvette racer Oliver Gabin is leading the way on these hot laps. The LT6 V8 barks much louder than in the LT2 6.2 liter V8 in Stingray Corvettes, revs far higher, and works beautifully in tandem with the dual clutch automatic transmission. The LT6 makes 670 horsepower at 8,400 RPM and 460 lbft of torque at 6,300 RPM. It's the first dual overhead cam engine in a Corvette since the Lotus designed LT5 V8 in the 1990 Corvette ZR1, and it's the most powerful naturally aspirated V8 ever unleashed on the market. The engine and transmission are at their best on this 19 turn, 2.8 mile track, though there's also something to be said for the simple bark of the V8 on startup. The LT6 doesn't make its best torque until about 3,500 RPM but it's big enough to provide good torque down low anyway. Given the opportunity to open it up on the track in a way that would earn me a reckless driving citation on the street, I can feel just how freely the LT6 revs to its sweet spot and onto at 8,500 RPM redline, 8,600 RPM is the fuel shutoff point, but by the time the transmission completes the shift at 8,500 revs, the engine is already at 8,600 RPM. I can choose my own shifts via a pair of magnesium, standard, or carbon fiber, Z07 package, steering wheel paddles, but the transmission does such a great job of holding the revs and shifting quickly that I see no need to do poorly what the transmission does so well. In track mode, the car juts forward for a beat after gear changes before settling in to make the quick climb to the next gear. The DOHC LT6 comes from a brand known for pushrod V8s. The choice to go with a flat-plane crank was all about efficient breathing. The engine, which features dry sump lubrication and a camshaft in each cylinder head, works much like two four-cylinders joined by one crank, and the flat-plane design allows the pistons to fire back and forth on the opposite banks. That means the intake pulses are spread out uniformly, and that is one reason the engine can rev so efficiently. In fact, Chevy engine Dustin Gardner says the engine can take in so much air it has 10% greater volumetric efficiency, which he describes as effectively giving it a 10% boost or working like a 10% larger engine, i.e. a 6.0-liter V8. Despite bigger heads for the DOHC design, the LT6 weighs only about 2 pounds more than the LT2 Stingray engine while delivering 175 horsepower more. It's also about 31 pounds lighter than the supercharged LT4 V8 in the last Z06, which made 650 horsepower lighter internals, such as titanium rods and a 30% lighter crank, also team with a short 80mm stroke, versus 92mm in the LT2, to help it rev quickly. A pair of 87mm throttle bodies, one for each cylinder bank, and direct injection keep up with the fuel needs to match the engine's efficient breathing. To handle all that power, the Tremec 8-speed dual-clutch transmission gets beefier internals. The physics from the C8 Stingray are still in effect here, with 60% of the weight over the rear axle due to the mid-engine design, the car hooks up very efficiently and rockets forward to the tune of a 2.6 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time. Extend that to a quarter mile and the time passes in 10.6 seconds. Despite the car's extra power, track-focused aerodynamics limit its top speed to just 1 mile per hour faster than the Corvette Stingray at 195 miles per hour, and that falls slightly to 189 miles per hour with the carbon fiber aero package. Same platform, different tuning. Chevrolet developed the C8 Corvette from the start with the Z06 in mind, so nothing had to be done to the platform to contend with the extra power and the greater dynamic loads it would enable. The suspension geometry also didn't change, but changes were necessary to the brakes, suspension tuning, steering, and aerodynamics. Much of it is built around a bigger set of shoes. 
The Z06 rides on staggered 275-30 year 20 front and 345-25 or 21 rear tires, which are 1 inch larger in diameter all around, 30mm wider up front, and 40mm wider at the rear. The wider tires required a wider body and the improved performance dictated improved aerodynamics. The fenders bulge out an extra 3.6 inches at the rear and slightly less up front, the nose gets a front splitter, a front fascia opens up to channel more air to more powerful outboard fans and a new center heat exchanger, and the rear fascia is reworked to accommodate a four-pipe center exhaust. Chevy also adds another rear heat exchanger for even more cooling. The body also changes for aerodynamics. The standard Z06 comes with rear wickers that the customer can install. Without the wickers, which add about 1.5 inches of spoiler height at the rear, the car is neutral in terms of lift and downforce. With the wickers installed, a pair of stall gurneys at the back of the front underwing, just in front of the front tires, balances the car to create 362 pounds of downforce at 186 miles per hour. Opt for the carbon aero package, and its big rear wing, front dive planes, and underbody strakes give the car 734 pounds of downforce at 186 miles per hour. The rear wing is so effective that it has to be screwed into the rear bumper beam. Underneath, the Z06 sports 30% stiffer spring rates than the Stingray with the Z51 performance package, and the Z07 package adds 10% more stiffness. The springs are so stiff that Chevy had to add helper springs to keep them seated during extreme rebound situations. The bushings and standard magnetic shocks are also stiffer, but the anti-roll bars are slightly smaller because the springs provide the roll rake resistance that would normally be handled by the bars. Chevy also dials in less steering boost off-center with the optional carbon fiber wheels, which save 41 pounds of unsprung weight to give cars so equipped the same steering feel as cars with the standard forged alloy wheels. For best traction and braking, the cars I'm driving on the track also have a track alignment with an extra degree of negative camber all around, minus 2 degrees instead of minus 1, and they're running a performance brake fluid. At 13 inches wide, the carbon fiber wheels are the widest yet made for a street car. They're available with the Z07 package, which also includes stiffer settings for the magnetic dampers, the Pilot Sport Cup 2 or tires, and Brembo carbon ceramic brakes that measure 15.7 inches up front and 15.4 inches in the rear. The latter are the biggest brakes ever put on a Corvette, and the base brakes are big, too, at 14.6 inches up front and 15.0 inches in the rear. Both use 6-piston front and 4-piston rear calipers track car for the street. Chevrolet says the goal was to make the Z06 a track car for the street, but also keep it approachable for everyday driving. That will be determined by the eyes, ears, and kidneys of the beholder. On the street, the stiff dampers create a busy ride that can pound over sharp bumps and deep potholes. However, the ride is in punishing and comfort mode, and it's aided by the seating position, which sets the driver between the axles instead of over the rear axle like the C7 Corvette. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.